Welcome back to the shop. In today's video, we're gonna be going through and cleaning out this really dirty cement mixer. So if you've got a mixer as dirty as this one, then this is the video for you. Hit us a like, whack that subscribe button. Let's get it. So we're gonna start with just simply jet washing it all down. So this is the condition of it. I did try a bit of acid yesterday just to see how we're gonna get on. But yeah, we'll jet wash it, see how much we can lift off. Actually, the outside actually gets it off all right. Though. So now we're getting on to the next stage, really. We've done a full jet wash on the high setting that it can do to lift all the excess off, all the loose little bits, just to give us a head start. We're now going to go on to using. Brick acid. Now this is high strength brick acid. I just purchased this off eBay. I'm going to use it with a brush and I'm going to see how we get on. The jet wash has already lifted quite a bit. I'm concentrating mainly inside the bucket itself where you mix the cement, the mortar, etc. More than the outside, at least for now anyway. But now we're getting on to the acid. Up till now you can get away with just safety glasses. You do get a lot of splashback. Now you need to really think and consider PPE because acid is not to be messed with, especially this kind of stuff. So we'll get changed now. Okay, so a little bit overkill, but protect your eyes definitely. So wear gloves, wear some eye protection. You're supposed to dilute this down, but we're not gonna bother. We're just gonna put it on neat and brush it in with a soft brush, see how we get on. So we're just going to go for quite neat, as I've said, directly in. Definitely need to take precautions with this stuff. So, it is coming up, look. It's lifting it. See that there? So it's just perseverance now, I suppose. Keep doing it. Probably been working 10 minutes at this point. So I reckon another 20, half an hour. And uh, we'll see how it looks. There we have it. This has come up pretty good, to be fair. Now, I think time invested, I've probably got 35 minutes, all in, jet washing, bit of acid, bit of wipe down, re-jet washing, and just repeating the process probably four or five times. I've used about a third of the acid bottle, the five litre bottle that I bought. Now, results, pretty good. I have got to use this now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo this once more, once I've used it in a, in a couple of days time. And to be honest, I think that's good enough now. Aesthetically, like I said, I didn't really chase the outside of it too much. It was more the inside of the bucket where you're doing your cement and mortar mix. So the outside, as you can see, it has come up pretty clean. And then the inside, which is the important bit, it's come up really clean. There is little bits left, as I've mentioned, but I could actually get those off if I persevered with it. It looks worse than it is, like these bits here, they actually look like 
um, cement or mortar, but they're actually rust where the paints come off and it's underneath. So it is actually um, better than it looks, if that makes sense. But I'm really happy with it. So you can kind of get a opinion or a kind of understanding of exactly what work is needed and basically if you've got one which is as bad as this was, you now know that you can turn it round and turn it into something that is, you know, half respectable. Thank you for watching, please hit that like button, hope it's helped, see you next time.